All right, guys, here we are with the much anticipated and much warned about movie that you guys want us to check out. If you're new here, what's up? You're at the Rob Squad's home theater with your girl, Amber. And your boy, Jay. And this movie has been talked about so much. If you are a part of our RSR family, it's over on our Patreon. This one, or it was one of the winners on our poll, so we had to check it out. And you guys said it has so many stars in this movie, right. so that kind of made us excited. But as you mentioned, we have been warned as well about <laughs> this. But I feel like, you know, we sat through uh, Shawshank, and that had some parts in it that was very uncomfortable. Right, right. And I thought the same thing. Like, I grew up watching scary movies like The Omen, The Ring, Pet Cemetery. So I'm thinking, Ooh, yeah, I can handle nice. scary stuff. But you guys said... This is a different level. We don't know how prepared you guys are for it, but you did mention there's a star-studded cast. Samuel and Jackson, uh, John Travolta. There's too many to name. I saw some awesome names on there. And then you guys also said the, the soundtrack is killer too. So we're nervous. We're trusting you guys. We are in your hands. So at the end of this reaction, you're going to see what you turned us into. We're going to watch Pulp Fiction today. But hey, make sure before we even leave here today, y'all like this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a movie Monday or a film Friday. As we always say before we start, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and your blanket. let's check out highly anticipated <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Let's go. Let's go. I'm free doing that shit. You always say that the same. Also, a big deal you guys said for Tarantino? Yes. Sound like a sensible fucking man. That's you what sound I sound like. like. A duck. <laughs> Federal banks ain't supposed to stop you in any way during a robbery. So they're talking about robbing mm, yeah. a bank just over coffee? Not a shotgun, but a fucking phone. Cleans the place out. They don't even lift a fucking finger. <laughs> and no more liquor store. What have we been talking about? Yeah, no more liquor store. So they've been robbing liquor stores. But they're gonna go ahead up it to a bank. Try walking in one of those places with nothing but a phone. See how far that gets you. Know, we're out of it. Well, what a job. <laughs> just, oh, we have to get a job. A coffee. What's wrong with that? Nobody ever robs restaurant. Why not? Just like on a whim. Oh yeah, let's just rob this place. Same as banks. These places are insured. Manager. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. You're just trying to get you out the door before you start. So we're like an inside look at the criminal's mind right here. But the way they casually talk about it, I'm like, oh. Now that was a good idea. Made more from the wallets. A lot of people come to restaurants. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. Oh, they're wild. Yeah, she got like primal for a second. Come on. All right, same as last time, remember? They just came up with this just on a whim. Okay, yeah, they're twisted. They're getting something out of this. This is like getting them going. And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! Oh, man, okay. <laughs> yeah, she she looks like somebody who could fly off the handle. Like, she, she does crazy well. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. Okay, so... You guys really wanted us to see a Quentin Tarantino film, and this is the one you picked. John Travolta. Like, John Travolta's been in uh, an odd array of different roles in movies. Oh, what was the... What was that one we've seen? Okay, well, we've seen The Grease. musical. Grease. Yeah, Grease. Right, and then I've seen him in the, the new Hairspray. I've never seen the old Hairspray. And Saturday Night Fever, and then here we are yeah. in this one. <laughs> and Christopher Walken, that's a name that sounds familiar. I just don't know. Oh, Bruce from... Will. I don't know Christopher Walken. Bruce Willis, though. Bruce Willis. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Because also, I don't think you've seen a lot of... Um, Samuel L. Jackson films either, but he is a big name and a voice that you I'm just trying recognize. I think of a Samuel L. You've seen him in Star Wars. What? I also want to know, like, why is Quentin Tarantino such a big deal? Like, you guys are going crazy over him in the comments. Ooh, who is this? Okay. Oh, that's the hair on both of them. That's terrible. <laughs> John. In Paris, you can buy a beer at McDonald's. And you know what they call... That would be crazy. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Love Big Mac. Love Big Mac. I'm going to start ordering that. <laughs> you know what they put on french fries and hollow instead of ketchup? Or what? Yeah. Mayonnaise. Ugh. 
Well, the way they pick TV shows is they make one show. That show's called a pilot. Aren't they about to go shoot? Like, aren't they about to go fight somebody and they're sitting here talking about what's a pilot? <laughs> yeah, maybe fat, right? I wouldn't go so far as to call the brother fat. I mean, he got a weight problem. <laughs> so what'd he do, fucker? No, 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 nothing that bad. Foot massage. A foot massage. That little garden down at the bottom, closed in glass like a greenhouse, fell through that. Oh, they don't play. That's a damn shame. Yeah, they do not play around. No more foot massages. You don't be giving myself as well as a new bride a foot massage. <laughs> yeah, eating a bitch out and giving a bitch a foot massage ain't eating the same fucking. This is what <laughs> you can't listen to. This conversation. You giving a lot of them? Shit, yeah. Got my technique down and everything. I don't. Would you give a guy a foot massage? Fuck you. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of tired. I can use a foot massage myself. Yo, 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 man. You best back off. I'm getting a little pissed here. <laughs> so I'm starting to get mad. Drop it. 7.22 in the a.m. Ain't quite time. Come on, let's hang back. That's chill. Now look, just because I wouldn't get no man a foot massage. Don't... It's just gonna continue <laughs> They still go about this conversation. Saying a foot massage don't mean nothing. I'm saying it does. And look, I've given a million ladies a million foot massages. I can't believe we're really just <laughs> listening to this conversation about foot massages. And Antoine should have fucking better known better. I mean, that's his fucking wife, man. They think they have no sense of humor about this shit. I mean, I agree. Yeah, I mean, if we're weighing in. <laughs> yeah, I ain't no dude about to be giving my lady a foot massage. <laughs> right. So let's get into character. You're going to be taking Mia Wallace out on a date. Just good company, that's all. You're going to take your buddy's wife to a movie. That's the woman who just got somebody thrown over a balcony. So are they cops? What are they? They don't seem like cops. They don't seem what? like they're straight and narrow. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? What's, what's, what game is he playing oh, right now? Just... This guy looks terrifying. I do love the taste of a good burger. Mm. You know what they call a quarter pound of a cheese in France. Real with cheese. Check out the big brain on Brad. <laughs> You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> Metric system. I would have never thought about them. I would have never. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash? This? I'm like, what is he getting? What is he getting at here? Just tell me what you want already. I know. He's just talking about this meal. I like this little game you're playing. Mm -mm. That would make me nervous because mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. And hit the spot. You, like a seagull. <laughs> So over there. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Samuel L. Jackson can be intimidating. Oh, that's the lock combination. What is in there? When we, we got into this thing with the best intentions, really. I know. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Did he just shoot homeboy? Oh, you were finished. Oh, well, allow me to retort. Whoa. What does Marcellus Wallace... What? Oh, my word, what's happening? It's just escalated. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. <gasps> oh. No, please don't say it. Please don't say it. Double dare, you motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Goodness gracious. <laughs> does... Oh, my gosh. And my son Wallace don't like to be fucked by anybody except Mrs. Wallace. Oh my gosh. Here I was saying, are they cops? No. Nah, these are goons. A goon? Like like A hit guy like guy. hitmen. The path of the right. Oh, we're gonna quote the Bible. You just shot somebody. Those who attempt to poison and destroy my I've never seen a Bible verse sound so scary. The Lord when I left. No. Oh no. Gosh, dog. Oh. Wow. What? Okay. Yeah, Mr. Wallace, uh, he don't play. Motherfuckers who thought their ass would age like one. If you mean in terms of vinegar. Seeing Bruce Willis makes me. It reminds me when you get back to Die Hard. Oh, I know. That was so good. That was awesome. If this is Marcellus, don't talk to him. This is a bad man. 
That's pride fucking with you. Fuck pride. Pride only hurts. Oh, so did he just pay him to like fall in a fight? That's, what? yeah, fixing the fight. Fixing a fight, that's what I'm trying to figure. What's the wording for that? You gonna say to yourself, Marcellus Wallace was right. Yeah, that's that bad, man. He gonna take a fall or something. In the fifth, your ass goes down. Yep. In the fifth, my ass goes down. It's a shot to his pride. I wanted to see what he looked like. Hey, but that Marcellus dude is probably paying him more than what he'd mm -hmm. get to win the fight. Big man's right over there taking care of some business. Why don't you hang back for a second or two, you know? They take their clothes off probably because of the blood. I've been doing pretty good about yourself. Alright. It's hard going from watching the hairspray where he was the mama singing and dancing in the dress to being a goon, as you say. Singing and dancing in a dress? Oh yeah, he was the mama in the hairspray that I've seen. <laughs> My name's Paul, and this just between. What would you fucking ask me about it for? I mean, he rocked a mean beehive in that movie. Some niggas in the house? My nigga. Chaz over here. Everybody has got like a chip on their shoulder. Everybody. Two in my right nostril, one in my left eyebrow, one in my belly, one in my. Are oh, you crazy? <laughs> Vincenzo. Step in my office. And they're always hanging out in somewhere sketchy, aren't they? That life. That lifestyle. This is 500 grams. But when you shoot it. This is like the heavy drugs. Remember, I just got back from Amsterdam. Am I a nigger? Golly. Coke is fucking dead as dead. Heroin is coming back. Oh, yeah, hey, that's that strong that's stuff. That's what I'm saying. Dangerous stuff. Will you get me some baggies and uh, twist sticks from the kitchen? This is crazy to watch, like. This side of life that I never thought about that's like crazy, dangerous, wild. People just casually live in it. That's Jody. That's my wife. <laughs> Fuck with another man's vehicle, you know? I, I bet if that person knew who he was and what he did for a living, they would not have done that to his vehicle. Like, I'm actually interested to see how this is done. Cause, like, I thought. I got it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Does this blood just go back in there? Huh. You know, like when you were younger and your parents, like there was a part in the show coming up and they made you hide your eyes so mm. you couldn't see it. It's like that's what Pulp Fiction was. It was like, you guys said, don't look. And so I kind of like have to look. <laughs> but I'm in, like, I'm awestruck by this whole lifestyle like that shows you how much i know like i didn't even know that's how you did that like those i know <laughs> that is like this is wild hi vincent i'm getting dressed doors open come inside and make yourself a drink oh no this is the wallace lady Man. i love this song billy ray was a preacher's song and when his daddy was Move set up a preacher's man by Dusty Springfield. Was that what this is? Where is where is the interview? It's on the wall by the two African fellows. To your right. Warm. Warmer. They got money if if she has a money. speaker system. Push the button if you want to talk. Hello. Go make yourself a drink and I'll be down in two shakes of a lamb's tail. The bar is by the fireplace. Okay. And he's a little out of it, isn't he? Mm -hmm, yeah. And after what he did to the last dude, I wouldn't be nowhere no. near that woman. Maybe yes, ma'am, and a whole lot of no ma'ams, apparently. From each other's oh, they just doing all the drugs. I know, they make drug this. use look like casual. So that's her, Miss Wallace. Come on, man, let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy O. Daddy O? <laughs> what was that? A square. What is this place called? Is this a restaurant? I don't know. It's cool looking though. This looks cool. Dressed like Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, I saw that. What kind of restaurant is this? Because I dig it. It's cool. She's got like an iconic hairstyle though, doesn't she? Like that's a statement hairstyle. 
I think it's like a wax museum with a pulse. <laughs> buddy, looking like Buddy Holly. <laughs> Run to a crisp or bloody as hell. Bloody as hell, and oh yeah, look at this. That's a big discussion. Well done or bloody? Ugh. Can't do no blood. That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. Last I heard. That's five dollars. You don't put bourbon in or nothing. <laughs> Everybody's saying, you spent that much on the milkshake? Female secret agents called Fox Force 5. I can see her playing a secret agent. And you can't tell me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. You're not going to laugh. <laughs> Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? He's going to try that $5 milkshake. You got to try it. <laughs> yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she look like she's up to something? Mm -hmm. Plus her eyes are like this piercing blue. I'll do that. No, they both high as a kite right oh, now. Oh, they so. are. Yeah, they are. On that crazy stuff. Said, God damn. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, she just gave this mischievous look like she already wasn't up to something mm. don't you just love it when you come back she said go in the bathroom to powder her nose yeah you know what that meant is that a fact and besides isn't it more uh... the dialogue in this movie is heavy like they banter so well who's antoine tony rocky horror you know him. fell out of a window mm. yeah girl it's your fault marcella's throwing tony out of a four-story window <laughs> she's calling out how how bogus the story is. When you little scamps get together, you're worse than a sewing circle. Mm. Mm. Just a gossiping. None of that happened. The world famous Jack Rabbit Slims Twist Contest. Oh yeah. Yeah. This handsome trophy that Marilyn here is holding. The chubby checker twist. Our first contestants. Right here. Oh. What a night out. I want that trophy. So that's good. All right. Well, baby, you picked the right partner. Unknowingly. If he brings what he's brought in <laughs> other movies, he knows how to twist. All eyes are on them, too. Okay. <laughs> we gotta learn how to twist. We're really you just missing twist out. Your hip. I was like, yeah, it ain't that hard. Money coming worked out well. <laughs> They're in tune, baby. His face. I know. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, she is in tune. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> She's in it to win it. They won. Look, she's got the trophy. Better be careful, brother. That's a little bit more information than I needed. Look at that. Is that a record? What? What is that? What is that thing? You got me. That is cool. Good. Like we've seen a record player. I've never what seen one that? of those. What is that? I I'm digging all the like really weird parts though like like the twist scene was weird yeah. but like there's something about it that was like you, you couldn't take your eyes off of it like even the camera angles they take make it more weird and it's cool it reminds me of like a uh, the Wednesday Adams part where I she's dancing the same thing. I love Wednesday Adams drink your drink but do it quickly and get up out of there say good night and go home it's a great plan. I'm all for a moment in the living room dancing to some music, just letting it all out. Dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> oh, that's his jacket, huh? The big gray one. Oh yeah, that's the the stuff he bought earlier. That's all you're gonna do. Nope. She just got the even started again. 
We've seen more of these two than anything in the movie yeah. so far. I'm wondering what the storyline is going to be with these two. <laughs> what just happened? What? Oh. oh. No, no, no. He's supposed to be like watching her. And I think she just died. Oh, she did. So listen, I got to go, right? I was... Just wondering where the storyline was gonna go. You f oh gee. Oh. Come on, girl. We're getting out of here. We gotta walk now. Oh my goodness. Well, what he had was a uh, heroin, right? I don't know. I don't know what the difference in. I don't. I don't want to say because I don't know YouTube's policies, uh, uh, but it was two different. I don't think. She, I don't know. I don't think she was supposed to snort that. That's what uh, he had. That's what he had stuck in his arm, and she had snorted it. Oh. You see what I'm saying? I think so. I mean, I don't fully understand, but I see what you're saying. I don't mean, at. I don't know how it works. They just did it two different ways. <laughs> He's sitting there like, that phone's not ringing. Hey, if that ain't y'all's boy, Jay, man, I'm sorry. I hate answering the phone. I can hear it. It's like there's a whole crisis on the other end, too. Problem. I got this chick, she's fucking ODing on me. Well, don't bring her. <laughs> so, uh, Pooh boy. She's ODing? She's fucking dying on me, man. You can't take her to the hospital? This, this is not my fucking problem, man. You fucked her up. You fucking did. Oh, no. Right? Why do you think you can take her to his house? I don't know you. Who is this? Don't come here. I'm hanging up the phone. Prank caller. Prank caller. Oh, my Oh, gosh. he just pulled in. Oh, this is terrible. Yeah. The Come on, Lance, call my fucking house. <laughs> so much going this on. This is like the name, like the neighborhood. I am. I will be forced to tell him that you did not help. No, he said if I go down, you're going down too. He said I'm not going down alone. Shoot. She's so dead. Get her out of here. Get the shot. She said, get her out of here. <laughs> she said, you too. She's getting the shot. I'm gonna go get my little bike medical book. So I'm assuming he must. Oh, he isn't from the shot. Get shot! I am if you like. I'm assuming he'll get in trouble if he takes her to the hospital. Shot! Right! I don't understand where they're not going. A textbook they give to nurses. I never saw no medical. And all that junk you're gonna. They're not gonna find it for this lady. Fuck out of my way. This is a hot mess. Yeah. Dumpster fire. Shot in the heart. I guess it's gotta be fucking exact. Well, exactly. Oh, it's gotta be a shot in the heart. Are you kidding me? Oh. I know. Yeah, is I it can't, like? I can't does watch it not make you just like? Heart. Yeah, I can't watch that. I think it's ready. Yeah, I won't be watching this part, FYI. <laughs> in case you're wondering, because it's already making me. Look, you brought her here, and that means that you're gonna give her the shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can't watch him. Stop I know. I don't want to hear I it. Can't do it. So what you gotta do is you gotta be kneeled down and he's- Ah! Stop! This is the instructions. Press down on the, the plunger. Okay, then what's happening? Oh, ain't no way. I'm kind of curious about that myself. Is he no fucking joke? Dash! Can we get past this part? Alright, count to- Oh. I know! <laughs> Dash! I don't even really want to hear it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Oh like... my gosh. Did he do it? No. <laughs> Oh, I heard it. Oh. You heard it? Oh. She's alive. Why is she alive? It's a You got a needle in the chest. Oh. Oh my gosh. Making my skin crawl. Yeah, she was smiling right before he did it. You didn't see that part. Oh. Like you heard it and I saw it. She looks like a zombie. <laughs> she... Baby girl. Home girl, you going home. You need I, to make some better life decisions. You are I'm, reckless. I'm dropping her off and going to the crib. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No more. Tell my sellers. Find a different keeper. Nah, you go a little too hard for me. Take <laughs> your butt to bed and I'm out. <laughs> Whatever happens after I leave happens. That's to make me split this <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> it looks so terrible. Marcel's lived his whole life. He doesn't need to know nothing about this. 
we went to eat and came home. Girl was foaming out the mouth. Just look at her. She looks like she's been through hell and back. He said, I'm going to go home and have a heart attack. No. I ain't never seen nothing he like saved that your ever. Life. Do you want to hear my Fox Force 5 joke? <laughs> I want to go home. Goes back and squishes and says ketchup. <laughs> it's a dad joke. I've never heard that. That's a twisted tat joke. Dad jokes are like jokes that you can tell your kids not... Dad goes and squishes one of the kids because it couldn't keep up. Guys, what is happening? I'm glad that's over. That that last five, ten minutes was a trip. Yeah, I've got a special visitor. Beep up. Beep up. <laughs> that, that top cartoon looks so terrible and outdated. This here is Captain Coons. He was in the POW camp with Daddy. Oh, that's uh, the walking guy. Christopher Walken. After the war was over, really delivering. This watch has been through some Dude, things. a lot. That's special. The way your dad looked at it, this watch was your birthright. Oh. Hmm. In one place he knew he could hide something, his ass. Oh, gosh. He died of dysentery. Give me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable last two years. This, oh. like, super sweet, meaningful story just... Yes, I'm a son of my family. <laughs> no. God. Could he not have left that last part out? <laughs> this story would have been so much better Could if he left that part out. Could we not have just... Okay, back to this story. He's supposed to take a fall. Fifth round. <sighs> it's like sometimes like you'll finish this like whole scene and then they'll skip to the next one. You're still thinking about the last one. Like, what? <sighs> yeah, but I'm ready to see what goes with this one. Leave the ring. Do you think he knew Wilson was dead? My guess was... Wait. Doing, I think any man would have let the ring that fast. Stand you. He killed somebody. During the sad weeks ahead, the eyes of the WBA remain. What? Left in a hurry. Okay, so in the boxing ring, he somebody he killed somebody, I guess. And I it guess it wasn't Coolidge the one taking the fall. It was supposed to. I thought Coolidge was the one taking the fall, right? It was supposed to, yeah. Uh-oh. And then thank you for dinner. What you got? I want to see Marcellus's what? face. Take him to the kennel, sick the dogs on his ass. We'll find out for goddamn sure what he knows and what he don't. On the trainer? I want a nigga hiding in a bowl of rice ready to pop a cap in his ass. I will take care of it. Oh, man. You're running from a big dog. I mean, yeah, he's taking his gloves and tape off in the car. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? Killing a man. There's like rules and stipulations to where like that can't happen in boxing, right? Never know. I wonder if that's happening in real life. You are the first person I've ever met with killed somebody. <sighs> yeah, she's a bit twisted too, isn't she? I'll tell you what. Give me one cigarette you got up there and I'll tell you all about it. What happened to the couple at the very beginning who was just gonna rob the, the restaurant? Die in Colombia. <laughs> Some hell you got there, honey. <laughs> Don't you think she's a little bit off? Like, mm. I'm worried she's gonna do something. Hey, fuck him, Scott. If he's a better boxer, he'd still be alive. Dang, cold! So you have it all by tomorrow night? No, I understand. A few straggles aside. He pretended like he was gonna take the odds. Mm. Like, fall. So the more people bet against him. Yep. You make more money? We'll be on Tennessee time. Cool, brother. You better watch your back. Most wise, brother, fellow little boss. Who am no chase? I like the way she said his name. Who's this? Oh, he knows she's there. You know what? I was thinking about taking a shower. I was thinking like a dog. He just had a big fight. He probably smells so bad. Belly. Pug bellies are sexy. What? <laughs> like Madonna when she did Lucky Star. It's not the same. <laughs> sure am. It's like all worked out in the finish. We're not at the finish yet, babe. He's not giving her all the details. No. Nope. She's over here fantasizing about a pot belly, not knowing her hair man's in a heap of trouble. Some deep oh. doo -doo, yep. Will you give me oral pleasure? This is such an intimate moment. 
I'd already be on the run. <laughs> no, he car. had to stop and take a break, obviously. He had some things on his mind. If we wondered we could live in Bora Bora. You betcha. And if after a while you didn't dig that. I wonder how much he made from I know. That. But also how much he made is going to tell you how much trouble he's in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be living in fear for a while. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle movie. I'm not sure the be looking over his shoulder all the time. Did I know Fabian? You were the one that was watching. No, Ambicile, what was your dream about? She seems so sweet for her to be like in this mix. Like Marcellus's girl, she might be about that life. <laughs> now this baby, she seems sweet. A tall glass of orange juice and a black cup of coffee. She's gonna get full. I was about to say, dang girl. Yeah. And on top, a thin slice of melted. Like they, they. Reminded you not to forget the fucking watch. Is he the little boy whose daddy mm -hmm. did the watching? Fuck, motherfucker! Motherfucker! Dang! Golly! It's not your fault. Okay, then calm it down. Simmer down. I had to bring a bunch of stuff. <sighs> he had to check himself for a second. You better not go back to that apartment. Mm -mm. You know they no, gonna be No, no, right. That watch is gone. That watch is gone. Why does it mean that? Oh, that's... They're gonna be waiting. Gangsters be looking for you there? <laughs> he might lose his life over a watch. No split. I saw you watch. I thought I brought it. Oh, poor girl. He's really gonna go back. The fucking thing she can fucking forget. <laughs> He's flipping back out in the car. Get my father's watch. Oh, he's gonna walk into some mess. There ain't no way that those type of men that he's messed with ain't waiting. And you seen at the beginning what they did to them, look like college kids. Yeah. They gonna make him look like what's the cheese with the hole in it? It's a Swiss cheese. He look like pulp. They gonna beat him to a pulp. I would, as much as I love that watch, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to let it go. I'm sorry, Daddy. Mm. I just feel like somebody's gonna creep up I'm on it. I'm scared for him. Don't you think the angles that they took the cameras at seem so realistic and cool? It's a little bit different than normal film. I feel like. Oh, I was so nervous. <laughs> My gosh, you know how heavy your heart would be beating. Oh my goodness. You gotta get in and get out. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying. Samuel L. with I that know. Jerry Crow gonna be waiting inside. There's no way they're not in the apartment. <laughs> I'm waiting on someone to just pistol whip him. Get out. Yeah, you got the watch. It's time to go. Bunch. Don't worry about a snack. What are you doing? <laughs> we don't understand the seriousness, do we? He even has to toast it. Can't just eat it cold. <gasps> oh. Oh, you better take off. Hey, go. Yeah, now it's time for you to go. He, he's got to get out of there, though. He must. Uh, he like, must is take that, that like, with you. He got so lucky the guy was in the bathroom. <laughs> Just get the fingerprints That's off. what I'm saying. I'll take it with you at this point. But if you're leaving the, the country, you better just go. And he has to be cool and collected when he walks away or else he'll cause a, like a scene. I don't, I don't think there's a way he's still getting out of this. 
I don't know how. Every dark alley he walks through a passageway, I'm like. We better check. Check that check. back seat. I, I was say. just getting ready to say it. Check that back seat. Success. Wow. Did you say success? <laughs> Had to kill somebody. Oh <laughs> yeah, I mean that guy is a Pulp Fiction. That's a success. Mm -hmm. He made it out alive. Are you still nervous, or do you think he made it? I got this pit in my stomach, so I don't. Uh oh. That's him. That is that Marcellus. Oh. Oh. This is bad. He just thought run him over. He's dead. Oh, he ain't dead. He's alive. Uh -oh. I, I, you'd, you had to run over him. You had to. <laughs> That's your only option at that point. I'll be dead. Oh. 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 Look at him stumbling. He's... This is a disaster. Can I help you with something? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Come here, motherfucker. Oh, no. No. That's Brian fucking with you, see? You gotta fight through that shit. Mm, mm. He's saying the same line he said to him. Somebody's gonna get their motherfucking head blown up. Oh. Say none of your business, mister. I'm making it my business. You better not make it your business. Foot off the nigger. Put your hand behind your head. They did warn us the language was pretty gnarly. Keep it coming. Come on. Oh! Dang! Okay, you should have left the watch. <laughs> he don't know what he just, what just walked into him. It's funny because he's like casually talking about like he doesn't know how much went on to lead up to this moment. Oh. He put gags in her mouth. Oh. 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 I thought he was calling the police. What is he doing? <laughs> Whose shop did they walk into? I don't know what they just got themselves into. Nobody kills anybody in my place of business except me or Zay. Except me, I said. What in the world? Uh, this, I'm questioning the whole neighborhood. Like, these are the characters y'all got rolling around in this neighborhood. Yeah. Like, why would you put gas in their mouth? Like, it's just weird. Now, this one right here. Okay, he didn't call it. Oh, it's cop. These are two big, strong, tough, bad men with... <laughs> side down like this. They better hope. These guys don't get out of here. Especially mm -hmm. that one. But what is he letting out? I don't understand. Right, because he's got it locked down. Like, what is it? What is the fetish is happening? Let's just take a really weird turn the moment this guy came out. Which one of you want to do first? This just got really weird. I ain't for sure yet. That's why the gags are in their mouth. They're weird. I don't. I don't Ooh. like where this. I don't like where this is going. My. Ah, oh my goodness. Yeah. He's gonna stop at it or dirty, dirty dish rag. Russell's open. This isn't gonna. This isn't gonna be real. And this man is not in a leash. This is weird. I'm still trying to figure out this whole I thing. I don't know. I'm so confused. But then at the same time, I think I know what's happened, and that's even more confusing. <laughs> oh my gosh, get out of there. The, the, I it's am just hanging there. Sprinting out of there. 
This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, that whole thing was creepy. I could have done without that. Is he gonna go back and help? Yeah! Can we be done with this whole scene? I don't want to hear it anymore. I want this part to be over. Yeah. Oh, katana. A katana, like a sword. If the scene is making me sick, I'm ready for them to. Yeah. Oh. 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 So weird. It's so weird. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Out. Oh. I couldn't do it without this part. You can probably. Oh gosh, dog. Sliced him up real good. Oh, I ain't listening, but I seen that. You want that gun, don't you? Not. <laughs> Can I beat up? You're just dirty and weird. Come on, that up, boy. Could be realized that before he slices you, you're dirty and weird. Step aside, but. Yeah, he needs to be the one to take this shot. Oh. Fuck! Oh. With a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. Oh. You hear me talking, hillbilly boy? I ain't through with you oh. by damn. He's gonna make him suffer. I mean, what now between me and you? <laughs> he said, are we good? I mean, he saved him. That was horrid. Yeah, we could. Yeah, I was about to say. That was one of the worst things I've seen in my entire life. Short ass life in agonizing pain, rapist here. Yeah. Yeah, Ugh, it's made my skin crawl. Yeah, that's sick, man. Or oh, you be gone. <laughs> you lost all your LA privilege. Can't come back to LA. Cool, we're straight on it. <sighs> I mean, the crappy how it went down, but I mean. I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. He gets, that could be erased from my mind forever. He gets to keep all that money. And him and dude are kind of life for a life. He's like, yeah, uh, I'm going to go. This has such a, like that guy still ha Wow. He's got a ride. He ain't going to be needing that. He's going to have to go back to his girl. And he's not going to be able to explain none of this. Yeah, this movie's this movie's tough. Tough to get through some parts for sure. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. So Mr. So Worry, what about our bags? Pump the bags. If you don't split right now, we're gonna miss it. <laughs> he said he said I gotta get gone and go now. Let's go. Where did you get this motor? <laughs> she said, Where's my Honda? Baby, you don't need to ask him no questions for a while. I'm sorry, baby. I had to crash that Honda. Will you come on now, please? Come on. Why does the motorcycle say grace? No, no. I, I might have broken my nose. It's no biggie. Come on, hop on. Uh, baby, please. <laughs> oh, baby, Good she's so, she's a sensitive soul with such a hard man. <laughs> sorry. You were gone so long, I started to think dreadful thoughts. Oh my gosh, why do I like her so much? <laughs> Girl, he went through it while he was gone. The no, blueberry pancakes. I didn't have blueberry pancakes. I had to get better milk. <laughs> She's so gentle. <laughs> Which motorcycle is this? It's a chopper, baby. Zed's <laughs> <coughs> dead, baby. Zed's dead. Zed's. <laughs> Funny situation. Okay. You read the Bible, girl. Is this the, the same story we picked up, we started with? The path of the righteous man is beset. Yes, this is. Somebody was hiding in the bathroom. Vengeance and furious anger. Those who... Mm hmm He looks scary here. And you will know my name is the Lord. I don't want to see this again. Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, Benson Marvin. <laughs> he looks like the guy from the Jamie Foxx show. Marvin. 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 
and he missed. Oh, he should have just stayed hidden. Uh, they looked at each other like. They look, they're really? like, they look, they, that was unnecessary. This was divine intervention. You know what divine intervention is? You think the divine helped you in this situation? The boy could shoot. Fucking blow this shit up. What just happened here was a fucking. Stop. Wrong. Wrong. This shit doesn't just. <laughs> What happened here was a miracle, and I want you to fucking acknowledge it. Let's go. <laughs> so they let they left the Marvin dude. Oh, they're well, making him go with him. Happens. Look, you want to play blind man? Go. <laughs> he just will not admit to it. It was a miracle. I have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? And I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it as an That was gruesome. And I wasn't prepared. He went over a bump or hey, something. Hey, the guy ain't hit no motherfucking bump. Hey, look, man, I didn't, I didn't. Oh, my God. Were you prepared for that? No. It believe it, man. Well, believe it now, motherfucker. We gotta get this car off the road. You know, cops tend Wow. To a friendly place, that's all. This is the valley, Vincent. Marcellus ain't got no friendly place well, in the valley. you see my they're riding around looking like that. If Jimmy's ass ain't home, I don't know what the fuck we gonna do, man, because I ain't got... Babe, there's matter in his Jerry curls. You gotta be um, a very good friend to let your friends come over and wash the blood off of themselves in your sink. When well, you supposed to wash them first. Well, you watched me wash them. I watched you get them wet. Can they get the blood off? I ain't threatening you in the night. You know I respect you and all. Oh, so this is why they showed up in their underwear. Uh, Just go handle your friend. Go ahead. I don't care. In, in those different clothes earlier. Mm -hmm. This is some serious going maze shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied. They're standing in his kitchen dripping with blood. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. Come on with the word realize man that a bonnie comes home and finds a dead body in her house. okay that part house separation i'm gonna get fucking divorced okay and i don't want to like that's bold to walk into somebody's house like let me hide this body and clean up this... now look you know this whole movie is crazy and then get the fuck out of my house before she gets here hey. cool <laughs> you don't fuck my shit up you're fucking my shit up right now uh, he's getting told. And wait for the wolf who should be coming directly. You sending the wolf? Who's the wolf? <laughs> well, how? So the man has... Nine minutes, 37 seconds later. So he has some type of weird connection to get across town. House? Sure is. I'm with the wolf. I solve problems. I solve problems. <laughs> the clock is ticking is that right jimmy uh 100 your wife he seems like such a like normal easy living life you know mm. the normal way and he's in this mess you got a corpse in a car minus a head in a garage take me oh. uh, oh. <clears throat> uh yeah sure think about coffee and cow's blood let's go back to the kitchen what does the wolf have planned? <clears throat> How's it in a fix, sis? Thicker the better, the darker the better. No whites. Can't use them. We need How many times has this guy done this? Come again? I said a- Right, why are you- We're here to help you. This- Just say please, I'm here to tell you what to do. He's helping you. I don't mean disrespect, okay? I respect you. I just don't like people barking. Just do it, this is not the time. It's a 1974 Chevy Nova. The wolf comes in and gets stuff set up and done. Probably likes about the wolf. Thanks a bunch. How we coming, Jimmy? Uh, pretty good. I got I got it all here. Jimmy, oh, pretty good, bud. Jimmy just seems like your everyday, normal, average dad. So how's he mixed up in this? Furnish you with a whole bedroom set, which your uncle Marcellus is more than happy to do. Uncle, his uncle's Marcellus? No, he's saying, listen, let the linen go, because Marcellus has yeah, got money. Well, I'm a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker, mother. 
Phase one is complete, putting the car, which moves us right along to phase two. How much time do I have left before Bonnie gets home? All the way to your bare ass. I hope your fences are really high so nobody can see this. Damn, this morning ass, some chili shit. Yes. Like a couple of guys who just blew off somebody's head. Right, it's like, why are we rooting for them to, to get out of there in time? Like, they're not terrible people. Here it comes. He says you've both been to county, I'm sure. Hey, man, shit out of my hair. Come on, come on. Uh, he had stuff in his hair. Stop. I, I stop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like, what do they look like, Jimmy? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Hey, you're clothes, motherfucker. You're clothes. In the prison. Don't make me beg. Dang. Unless what? You do it first. Spoken like a true prodigy. Prodigy. You guys going to a volleyball game or something? Everyone's ragging on their outfits. Redondo? Inglewood. It's your future. I, I see a... Mm. <laughs> I just want to tell you it was a real pleasure watching you work. <sighs> now how did the wolf wind up in that business? Never no, know. How does one end up doing that? Go for some breakfast. You feel like having breakfast with me? We're also watching the last few moments of that guy's life. Because remember, Literally, he gets. Yep. yep. Didn't even, you know, you didn't really get pissed when you were fucking with him. <laughs> I ain't even nothing, ain't got sense enough to just. <laughs> Personality goes the wrong way. Uh, so, by that rationale. Like, it's just the conversations they have in the <laughs> midst of absolute chaos and destruction is what amazes me. What is, is I felt the touch of God. God got involved. He said so much enough to he's retiring. That's what I'm trying to understand. Like you just like in that one little building, you took four people away from this planet. And you think God was looking out. And how long do you intend to walk the earth? Till God puts me where he This is an interesting dude. Very. I'll walk forever. So you decided to be a bum. <laughs> so you're gonna be Look, my friend, this is just where you and I differ. Got some! Oh uh... Remember this is the just a waste of a moment. It is not. You hear the other people back there having a mm -hmm. conversation. Refer to as a moment of clarity. An epiphany. An epiphany, yeah. So we got four crazy people sitting in a restaurant. Sounds like a beginning of a bad joke. I'm ready to see what how they're gonna react to what these, what these people are about to do. This is a robbery! Any of you fucking pictures! Oh my gosh, these crazies. The fucking kitchen! What the fuck now? Five, six, five, six, five, 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 five. These people are nuts. <laughs> oh, I like this scene either. No, 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 baby. And everything will be over. Yeah. You understand me? Yes, I said everybody. There's certain scenes in this movie that make me feel sick. And this will all be over in a minute. Fuck down. Well done. Oh, the guy who needs to be out awesome. there isn't even out there. Reading the same book he was reading the last time. Good. Now what is out? You don't know that you just walked in on one of you walked in on the some craziest. That's what I'm saying. You think you bad. You walked in on some dudes that are a little more badder than you. Fucking the same thing. Mm. Open it. Afraid he can't do that. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of money on A lot of it. Get him out of here. Shut the fuck up, fat man. This, ain't <laughs> this, this, this woman is so jumpy back there. She's yeah. the last person I'd give a gun to. You didn't even flinch. He's already been shot at today. Two. He's been through a lot today. God damn it, what is it? Uh oh. Ew. <laughs> I can't even Say, be, be, be cool. <laughs> Down that I fucking bitch to chill. Be cool. Ah, she's like a chihuahua though. He's what? Cool. Correct the mundo. Dang, the tables have turned and see, she's shaking now. That high left. He's a bad man. The way he pulled that switch. He's calling him Ringo. There's always somebody badder out there. And, and he's just so cool about it. But you happen to pull this shit while I'm in a transitional period. Transitional period. <laughs> <laughs> while well, I'm in a transitional period. Come on, point the gun at me. Point the gun at me. <laughs> uh, and Ringo's proud of you. 
It's almost over. He's like giving them a lesson right now. Honey bunny. Why is Samuel L. Jackson like perfect like, at this, this role? So intimidating in this role. Yeah, he's perfect for it. It really says No, Yolanda, Yolanda, he ain't gonna do a goddamn motherfucking thing. Bitch, shut the <laughs> Furious anger, those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. Is he gonna blast them? Just thought it was some cold blooded shit to say to a motherfucker before I popped a cap in it. <laughs> I, I thought it was something cold to say. You're the righteous man, and I'm the ship, and it's the world. Man. Go. Deep with us. Go. Man. I wonder if he peed his pants. But it's like. They're walking out their tail between their legs, like not proud, like That's what I'm saying, embarrassed. Like, like he did that with no violence. I can't believe he let them walk out of there. I'm okay. never eating at this restaurant again. Who in the heck are y'all feeding? I can't take them serious in those clothes. <laughs> Cannot take them right. serious. But that's why the robbers didn't think twice about it. So that is that's Pulp how it fiction. ended. What? All right, I'm gonna go out and say like there there was some bad parts there and parts some and parts that like made my skin crawl right. and made me super uncomfortable. But like, yeah. I feel like there was more like some funny parts and some really cool parts that outweighed you know, those really really bad parts. It, it, it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting. Language obviously terrible. You guys but, warned us. You guys did warn yeah. us about some of this stuff. But to me. I think it's a it's a cool compliment. I think the dialogue in this movie was so good. I mean, like you were hanging on to every word that every character was saying. Like they didn't waste any line on something meaningless. Like every line was packed full of something. And so you're just sitting there and just like you're listening to the things that are they're saying back and forth. And I think that was one of those most special parts about the movie was the speeches and just all oh, the words no. in between that you was know cool. and I, I think how he set it up to where you skip to this part and which led yes. you back yes. to this the part very first like, scene. Yeah. like that it was really cool and then not only that you know really getting into like the cinema of it the angles yeah that, the angles cool. that uh, tarantino used are unlike in hardly any others that we've ever seen before so i thought that was a really cool aspect of it i'm glad we got to knock out an iconic movie in pulp fiction for sure and then obviously the two main characters they they, they play played it so so well and it was cool to see bruce willis again I feel like we saw so many stories though and so somehow, many storylines somehow the stories did all wrap mm. up and tie into one another mm. but yeah like to go into this being so scared, coming out of it, seeing the parts you guys were talking about, totally understanding it, but still thinking like, sit like as a film, it was interesting. Like if I had to put it in it terms, if any of you guys like any of you gamers out there know GTA, the Grand Theft Auto, I feel like this was Grand Theft Auto the movie. Like I, like I literally felt like, it, okay, like, so like it, was it was like that. Some hoodlum stuff. Some hoodlum stuff, but. <laughs> Um, like I said, I'm super glad we finally got to see this movie. And like the thing, the last little bit in it where Samuel L. was just oh my gosh, dropping the man that could just knowledge speak, on the dude. Though. Can Samuel L. not just like speak to <laughs> you said, and you're said, like, hold up, let me write this down. He said, you lucky I'm in a transition. I know. <laughs> I mean, but that's what I'm saying. The writing in this movie was fantastic. The, the angles and just how it was directed was fantastic. The star-studded cast was amazing, but also getting to see these actors and actresses in these much different, really out there, you know, out there, all, like, real overdose, right? Like, like that was you know, crazy. off the wall type of characters, but then being so good and just so into it and just like absolutely selling it to you, like every single one of them were fantastic, and I don't know how they got everybody in this one film, like how, like overall, like. I think this was a really good movie. I, I mean, even like, though I said, we were scared, like I, th I think this was a very well put together. Obviously, again, don't like the language. Couple of the scenes were uncomfortable, but overall, like the whole thing put together, I think was a really good movie. I think this is one that you'll be thinking about, right? You'll be I was thinking just about, about some of the lines that. that were said. You'll be mm. thinking about some of the scenes, 
And one thing that I'm, I'm sad about is like some of the scenes were uncomfortable and you will be thinking about it and they might stick with you. Like not too cool about that part, but everything else around it, I feel like it, it was worth it. It, it, it was a good film. I see why it was suggested. It was one you guys wanted us to watch. And I do want to see more Tarantino films now. I do. I was very was well put cool. together. Very different. A different film, man. But guys, thank y'all so much for the suggestion as we always send you out of here. No matter what channel of ours it's on, we love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every day that you wake up is a blessing and that you are blessed. We hope you guys enjoyed this movie with us. Until next time, we will see you guys later.